This is the second lesson of crystal component training and this lesson is about how to print crystal from a grid. We're going to take the order acknowledgement from lesson one and we're going to attach it to a grid and then print from the grid. So let's get started. We've logged into the Oasis Agility Design Studio and we've opened the project Crystal Component Training. So the next thing we're going to do is define a new component. And we're going to start with a grid. We're going to call this Lesson 2 Acknowledgement Crystal Report just like the other one but we're going to call this how to print crystal from a grid. Now this also could be put on the menu so we'll assign it an icon as a view. Only thing we're going to change here is administrator go next. Now I have to copy in some SQL here so I'm just going to copy it in instead of going to the trouble of selecting all the tables. We're actually just using the OE order header uh, WV table anyways just to, to create a view and some data here and I've just picked these fields um, standard field status order number Entered order date, PO, customer, bill to, ship to, some ship instructions, and an email address that we'll be using later on. That email address is only available in Macola ES, but we're going to use that in the uh, third lesson here coming up. So just a few simple fields. And then we're going to select one filter. We're going to do the customer number. And we're going to take that from the order header. And as always, we have to change this data type to customer. We have to give it a caption. Request now. Do a search. AR dash gets us down to a few AR searches. Pretty easy to do that. So we now have a customer number there. Now the next thing we need to do is actually make this take some action. Now this is the first time we've done action off of any kind of grid. So we're going to add a button and we're going to call it print. But this time instead of an agility component we're going to do a transaction. Transaction report. And now we have to define that. Now this is the first time we've done an action. There's several things you can do on action. You can take action, um, well, actually in a regular grid, there's just the current record action. So I'm going to add, in this case, a crystal report. And we're going to select lesson one. Now we have a couple things here. Now first off, our report destination, even though we say print, is really going to go to screen just so we can look at the report. You can print it from the screen anyways. Now, remember the parameters that we had uh, before? Well, this crystal report, this lesson one, the filters on lesson one were these parameters. And now they appear here now, but to be assigned in a different way. Now you have several ways of assigning these parameters. The order number we're gonna take from the view. Source column is going to be order number. And that's all we have to do. Now these fields are, before when we ran the report, we select them all as true. What I'm going to select here is default. That allows me to just say, it knows our booleans, so we're just going to say default true on all these. So now all these values have been assigned. 
either to a view value or to a default value. So we're just going to save that. And that pretty much maps out the crystal report. So then, as you can, there are a few things left here, but we're not doing alerts and we're not doing linked views, so we're done. So let's run this lesson. We can enter a customer range. We're going to select customer 901. brought back the values. We could do a cleanup on this if we wanted to. But what I'm really interested here is showing you how I can print. So I'll save that cleanup and I'm just going to go ahead and print. And once again we've now linked this and printed order number 490. And that's as simple as it is to link an action item like a crystal report to a grid that ends this lesson. Thank you. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video tutorial and I encourage you to move on to the next video tutorial in this series.